From Civil Rights Leaders, Chapter 4, Jackie Robinson Today, baseball is a popular sport, but there was a time when African-American baseball players and white baseball players did not play together. This all changed when a man named Jackie Robinson stepped out onto the baseball field in 1947. Not only was Jackie a great player, he also showed the world great courage in breaking down barriers among people. Jackie Robinson was born in 1919 in Cairo, Georgia. He was the youngest of five children. His parents were sharecroppers, people who worked the lands for others for very little pay. Later, his family moved to Pasadena, California. As a boy, Jackie was a talented athlete. In high school, he played football, basketball, baseball, and tennis. He ran track, too. After high school, Jackie went to college. In college, Jackie competed in baseball, basketball, football, and track. He was picked for the All-American football team, which is a team of the best players from different schools around the country. After college, Jackie began playing football for the Honolulu Bears, a Hawaiian team. When the United States entered World War II, Jackie joined the Army and he became an officer. Growing up, Jackie knew about discrimination which was at that time legal in parts of the United States. Discrimination is the unfair treatment of people because of their skin color, race, religion, or some other reason. Jackie experienced discrimination in the Army, too. When Jackie was in the Army, he refused an order to sit at the back of a military bus. Jackie felt that the color of his skin should not be a reason why he could not sit where he wanted. Jackie stood trial, but was found not guilty. When Jackie left the Army, he began playing baseball for the Kansas City Monarchs. The Monarchs were an all-African-American team. One day, Branch Rickey, the president of the Brooklyn Dodgers, saw Jackie play. He wanted Jackie to play for the Dodgers, even though they were an all-white team. Branch wanted Jackie to become the first African-American to play Major League Baseball. Jackie agreed. Jackie began playing with the Montreal Royals, a training team for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Jackie played well. Then, on April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson put on the Brooklyn Dodgers uniform wearing number 42. As the first African-American player on a major league team, Jackie stepped out at Ebbets Field. Thousands of fans were there. Jackie knew that Branch had chosen him because of his talent and his character. Jackie was strong and brave. Some players on the field and many people in the crowd were mean to him and called him names, but Jackie ignored them and just played baseball. And that's what he did every time he stepped out onto the field, even when some players tried to injure him. Jackie simply played his best. In the end, he changed baseball forever. Jackie became the first African-American to be included in the Baseball Hall of Fame.